Hello, math learners. This time you will learn about series. Series is the result when you add all terms in a sequence. The series can be denoted by S sub n, where n refers to the number of terms. There are two types of series, infinite series and finite series. The first type of series is infinite series. It is an indicated sum of the terms of the infinite sequence. Thus, when it is an infinite sequence, its terms are continuing indefinitely, it then produces an infinite series. Infinite series is a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 plus, and so on, a sub n plus so on. The second type of series is finite series. It is the indicated sum of the terms of a finite sequence. So I repeat, as the finite sequence, the number of terms is defined, thus producing a finite series or partial sum, which is denoted by S sub n. Finite series is A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3 plus A sub 4 plus and so on, a sub n minus 2 plus a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n. Now this time, let's find the indicated value for each series. Example number 1. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 and so on, s sub a. First, look for a pattern to identify the other terms until the a term. We are given already the four terms. 2, 4, 6, 8. You need to look for the other four terms, which is 10, 12, 14, and 16. Then express the terms as a sum. So you need, you need to get the sum. So S sub 8 equals 72. Example number 2. Negative 1 fourth plus negative 1 half plus negative 1 plus negative 2, plus, and so on, S sub 6. First, look for a pattern to identify the other terms until the sixth term. We are already given here the four terms. Look for the remaining two terms. So you add there negative 4 and negative 8. Then express these terms as a sum. So sum it all, you can get S sub 6 equals negative 63 over 4. This concept of getting the sum of terms can be expressed in a simpler manner using the summation notation, denoted by the Greek letter sigma. This can be used to indicate the sum of terms in a sequence. You have here the summation of two n from n equals 1 to n equals 4. The values of n begin from 1 to 4, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Start at the given value of n, and n at the number above the sigma symbol. So you start substituting the value of n with the value found below the sigma symbol until you reach the number indicated above the sigma symbol. Now let's have some example. Example number three. Summation of 2n from n equals to 1 to n equals to 4. So simply replace n consecutively with the integers from the value of the lower index, which is 1, to the value of the upper index, which is 4. So we have there 2, replace n with 1, plus 2, replace n with 2, plus 2, replace n with 3, plus 2, replace n with 4. Simplify, you can get there 2 times 1 will be 2, 2 times 2 will be 4, 2 times 3 will be 6, 2 times 4 will be 8. Simplifying this, get the sum, the answer will be 20. So the summation of 2n from 
n equals to 1 to n equals to 4 is equals to 20. Example number 4. Summation of quantity n minus 1 squared from n equals to 3 to n equals to 5. Replace the value of n starting from 3 until 5. So you will have 3, 4, and 5 as the value of n. Quantity 3 minus 1 squared plus quantity 4 minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 1 squared. With that, simplifying this, 3 minus 1 is 2, so 2 squared. 4 minus 1 is 3, so 3 squared. 5 minus 1 is 4, so 4 squared. Simplify 2 squared, that's 4. Simplify 3 squared, that's 9. Simplify 4 squared, that's 16. Then get the sum. The answer will be 29.